hello guys welcome to another video in this video i would be explaining you on how to create voice agent using o code this is a template code which i have taken from the o code uh, documentation itself but we have to do a lot of changes in it the direct template didn't work for me so uh, as you know the how, how does the voice agent work voice agent will take uh, the input will be a voice and it is converted into a text and the text is fed to the LLM and LLM gives the output and that output is again converted into the voice. So there are th three steps here. Okay. Uh, the first step, they name it as a transcriber where the voice uh, or audio is converted into a text and then LLM will be given that input. And then again, the synthesizer synthesizer means the text is again converted into the voice. Okay. That's what we have done. If you see here, this piece of code, we have a main method and in this method, uh, if you see, I'm just calling this particular method and I, I'm just saying like use the local microphone and uh, speaker as an input and output. That's it. And now in Vocode to create the conversation, we have to use this particular class streaming conversation inside which we need to pass the arguments like the transcriber agent and the synthesizer. So what is the transcriber here? I have used a deep gram transcriber. Okay. Even in the documentation, they have suggested the same and just the same uh, template. The API key, if you go to a deep gram website, we can create an API key. They'll give uh, some $10, uh, I guess, uh, as a free credit and you can use that. That works. And then for uh, LLM, we ha they have a class called uh, chart uh, GPT agent. We can use this particular class and here we have to pass the API key and any initial message and then any prompt if you want to give. That's it. Now, if you now the next thing is like they have in the documentation, they suggested to go with Azure synthesizer, but uh, I don't have access to this Azure synthesizer under we have to create API key under all it costs in Azure. So I tried with 11 labs in uh, first I created an API key with 11 club because 11 labs will also give us some credit uh, that did not work. It was throwing some error like output format uh, is not supported some kind of error the, the error code 403 is thrown something like that. It, it it has thrown error so i tried to create some basic uh, subscription over there there is an initial basic with just ten dollars i have created that even that did not uh, support uh, as per what i understand is like we need to have a pro and beyond uh, account with 11 labs to make this work which i don't have because it costs more so i have gone with the google synthesizer now so Google, I'm using Google synthesizer to convert the LLM output into the audio again. So if you see, I'm using this particular class here and output device, it's a speaker output only because I'm running in my local and what kind of voice we want those name and all we can give, but this alone doesn't work. First we have to go to Google cloud and then once we go to the Google cloud, then we have to go to IAM. Once we click on IAM, we'll come to this particular page and here we have to come to the service account. And once we come to service account, we can create a service account by clicking on this plus service account. I have created one service account. That's it. And I can give some name here. That's it. And then we have to come to keys and we have to create one key here. Just to click create key and it will download one JSON file. And we have to use that JSON file so that our local code or our wo code will be able to access this particular Google cloud using that service. So this is how we have to get the access. And then inside, so now if you see, this is what uh, it has downloaded and this is what I have used. And now if I come to my main.py file, if you see, I'm just setting the Google application credential as this particular file name path. That's it. Now, if you see here, we are using the same speaker output and all that's it. So this is how we are able to access the Google text to speech. Now, if you see the conversation dot start conversation is nothing but this particular object to this particular stream conversation class is called conversation and then conversation dot start. That's it. If you see, we are just asking you to use microphone and all. And if you run this piece of code, we should be able to trigger the agent. What up? Nothing. How are you doing? I'm just a computer program, so I don't have. It seems like your message got. Okay, if Less you see, let me stop this program first. So now if you see, this is how we are able to create a simple voice agent. Like it's not 100% working fine because I have to do lots of tweaks. Uh, even for the Google synthesizer, there was no issue with this chart GPT agent. There was no issue with this deep gram transcriber and all, but a lot of the issues are there with this uh, Google synthesizer and 11 lab synthesizer, mostly with the synthesizers. I don't know why. 
so what i have done uh, to make it work okay so now if i if i go to my virtual environment if i go to my uh, sorry if i go to my library and if i go to my uh, uh, code uh, here and if i come to this streaming and if i go to this synthesizer and if i go to google synthesizer here because all the google synthesizer here the first thing uh, i have to change is here somehow i was getting an error with this one so i just gave the ma manual uh, hard coded number here that's the first change i have done and the second change i have done is uh, this one enable time pointing like maybe because of this only i was not able to communicate but what i felt is like there are a lot of problems with this so i thought let's explore open ai voice agent because it has lot of things to do like we can create next videos completely on open ai voice agent and how to create open ai voice agent how to add tools to the open ai voice agent like my doubt is like if we use wo code assigning tools there are no much libraries or not much uh, easy is there around wo code like lot of complexity is what i have felt so i thought to explore uh, open ai voice agent which is better because it has very good sdk and lot of support from the community and all that's it so i i just wanted to show on how we can create a simple agent using wo code that's it thank you so much